Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome in this new video. So today, as you can tell, we are talking about the Micromax, a 1.15 meter slope soaring glider, we'll say for now, because it, it can do also sailing and this is quite exciting for me. So yeah, this little glider, 1.15 meters, as I said, for micro and max is for maximum performance. This glider has outstanding performance for its size. And this is the thing that surprised me the most when I got it. It's, it's just unbelievable. You will see in this video a lot of flight footage while I talk. So let's go ahead and let's talk about this little glider. So it's designed by Christoph Bodo, the designer of the NRJ, and made by OE Composites, the makers of the NRJ. So, if you are used to this quality, this one is as good or maybe even better because yeah, it's the finish is just amazing and it's so stiff. This glider has been made to do dynamic soaring, F3F slope soaring style and also thermaling. <laughs> this is this is quite surprising. The first time I flew it, uh, it was in this field. As you can tell, it's kind of dead flat. And I just do some javelin launch to test the CG and uh, it, it flew just like charm at the first throw. And just doing javelin throw, I was able to tell already how good it will be once tuned. And now it's tuned, I can tell you this thing is a beast. So this glider is 238 grams ready to fly. So it's freaking light. It's a bit heavy if you think about it compared to an F3K, but for a slope soaring glider it's really light. And as I said, it's designed to make some dynamic soaring. So the wing and the fuselage and the tails are really, really stiff and uh, strong also. <laughs> and this glider, because it's at this good weight, anti-weight, it can thermal really well and even at 300 grams it thermal still really well. I don't know what's the airfoil on this beast, but it's really good, I can tell you already. And this glider is performing really well. So, about the size. Many people will say the performance decreased because of the size. Yes, it's true, it's a matter of fact. Uh, you can't make the same performance as a bigger glider with a smaller glider. But this one, I don't know, maybe this shrink to bigger glider, <laughs> but it's the if you ever try one, you or see one in real life, you will not believe it's that small. As you can tell on video right now, I think I'm showing you clips. It's difficult to trust its 1.15 meters wingspan when it flies. It's so locked, it's so on rails, it's carving so good in the turns, it's it's just it just feels unrealistic, it's such a small glider. But and you have a bit of best of both worlds with this glider because you can ballast it up to 500 grams ready to fly, so around 200-250 grams of ballast. And uh, it's just a rocket at this weight. So you can do some dynamic soaring, you can do really fast slope soaring, but it tolerates the weight really, really well. So you can still fly in kind of weak weather with a bit of weight. I like to fly mine a lot with some ballast, even if the weather is quite calm because it makes the glider way more dynamic, way more flying fast, carving, and it still can take the lift quite well. On the clip you are seeing right now, the, the glider is at 300 grams, so with 60 grams of ballast right now. And it's flying so good at this weight. It's, I think, my favorite weight to fly this glider. I fly it sometime at 400 grams when it's like 20 km per hour of wind. Uh, in the weather you are seeing right now on the clips, it's like 5 km per hour of wind. So it's really, really calm. Uh, but this glider is performing so well. So obviously, because it's small, it can fit in the car just fully mounted like this. And this is, for me, the big deal because I just hate to build my glider on the field and take it into piece to put it in the car and then take it home and etc. And if I want to fly near home, I need to rebuild it. It's, it's just, I don't like that. <laughs> and this glider, as my F3Ks, 
are built all the time and I can fly whenever I want because I don't need to build it and this is a big deal for me. So one last thing I like about this glider is the tails. If you are to uh, dismount it, it's really easy because the system for the tails has been really well developed and it's just really nice. It's, yeah. This, gl this glider overall is not difficult to build. It just take time and need just to be precise when you build it. You need to be accurate, precise and patient. Uh, but it's not that difficult. It's just like an F3K. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any question, obviously ask in the comment down below. And uh, yeah, I think I will drop my setting in the description too. So if you already have this glider or you plan to buy it, my settings will be in the description so you will be able to fly yours as good as mine. So that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, all these good things for YouTube. Thank you a lot for watching and see you next time. Bye.